Buongiorno guys, today we are making three different versions of pesto. Basil pesto, pistachio pesto, and walnut pesto. The first one being the very classic version with some basil, pine nuts, parmigiano, pecorino, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and salt. Put the garlic in your mixing cup and give it a few bzz bzz just to break it up. Then get your basil and do the same thing, but remember that you are not looking for a paste yet, so don't do it for too long. Also remember to get all the itty bitty pieces and dump in your extra virgin olive oil. Let's also add our parmigiano, pecorino and our pine nuts. Now let's get back our immersion blender and at this time we are looking for a more green throughout pasty consistency for our pesto. Check to see if you're happy with the amount of salt you put in and transfer it to an airtight container where it can be stored for up to 4-5 to five days in your fridge. And your Genoa style or pesto alla genovese is finally ready. Let's get some pistachios, lemon, parmigiano, extra virgin olive oil. Optionally, you can even use a few basil leaves to add color, but for this time I won't. And again, garlic and salt and pepper. Now let's go to our stove top and bring our water to a boil. Pour in our pistachios and wait for a few minutes for them to soften up and wait until the water turns murky, brown and nasty looking in order to reveal the beautiful green Shrek color that really reminds you of your childhood. Now let's strain them and peel them to again reveal the green color we're looking for. We only need half a clove of garlic so let's try to break it. Let's try to break it. Let's just cut it with a sharp knife and grate about a quarter of a lemon to get that zesty fragrant zest. Add in our pistachios, break it up a little bit with our immersion blender. Removing all the bits can be a bit tedious at times, but trust me, it's worth it. Add the extra virgin olive oil and our cheese, mix it a little bit with a spoon and add a little bit of water. And as much salt as your heart desires. At this point you can adjust with a little bit more salt, water and extra virgin olive oil to reach your desired taste and consistency. Yeah, I know, it's not for the faint of heart. Jar it up and again you can store it in your fridge for a few days or you can eat it while working on your next pesto. Speaking of which, get some walnuts, pine nuts, breadcrumbs, parmesan, garlic, olive oil, whole milk and salt. Boil your walnuts for a few minutes to soften them up until the water gets murky. Strain them and put them aside while you wait for them to cool down. Add your pine nuts, garlic and break them up with your blender for a few seconds. Add your now cold walnuts, give it another blend. Add a drizzle of olive oil, breadcrumbs, cheese, milk and mix that until the mixture gets more homogeneous and a little thicker. Add a little bit of salt and some extra whole milk and olive oil if the thickness is not quite there yet. Give it one final blend and let's see, how does it taste? Mm-hmm. Tastes mm-hmm to me. Okay, one final test. When it looks like something you wouldn't want to eat, now that is when you want to eat it. Okay, so just to summarize, the first one is our classic basil pesto, which tastes great on pasta just the way it is, or maybe on a sandwich. And then moving on to our nut base, uh, sorry, to our nut based pestos, we have our pistachio and our walnut pesto. I actually had both of these with pasta just a few days ago and they tasted great just by adding maybe a few spoonfuls of the starchy water from the pasta and these are gonna be delicious and they're gonna blow you away. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel to receive updates on our latest videos and otherwise, I'll just see you next week. Ciao!